we are at Disney Springs for our monthly cookie adventure, Pride Edition. We're starting out at Gideon's Bakehouse and getting their June cookie of the month, the Cookie Butter Butterscotch Cookie. We're also going to try their Pride Cake. Then we're going to go over to World of Disney and check out all the Pride merchandise, see if there's anything else that's new. Then we're headed to Everglazed for a Pride Donut. We're also going over to the Cookie Bar at Summer House on the Lake to try out their Pinky Cookie. And then we're going over to see the limited time drone show, Disney Dreams That Soar. I'm Brittany, and this is Extra Magic Minutes. We stopped at Gideon's Bakehouse for their June cookie of the month. This is a cookie butter butterscotch cookie. It's a lot to say. And it has uh, Biscoff cookie, cookie crumbles. It has butterscotch chips. I have a feeling it's gonna be sweet, but it looks really good. It smells really good. If you like cookie butter or like Biscoff cookies, I think you'd probably be into this one just from the smell alone. So let's try it. It smells like it's a cinnamony cookie on the inside. And I've actually never had this one before. They had it last year, but I wasn't here then, so I didn't get to try it. So it's the first time. Mm. This cookie is pretty tasty. I think it's pretty sweet. The boyfriend says he doesn't think it's that sweet. Um, I love the butterscotch chips because they get that caramelization from the oven. And then the Biscoff cookies on there sort of just give it like a gingerbread-y taste. I think the cookie inside is similar to the coffee cake cookie, if you've ever had that one. That's on the menu all the time, at least in the morning, and then they have the dark coffee cake. Anyway, I think it's pretty good. It's only in the top five of my favorites because I love when they have like peanut butter or nuts or something. But this one's great if you like sweet things, if you like butterscotch, if you like gingerbread. The boyfriend really loves this cookie because he loves like a snickerdoodle, a cinnamony situation. The coffee cake is one of his favorites. And uh, so he'll probably end up eating most of this. I won't have to like grab a little crumb away from him because he really likes it a lot. I want to try it with the coffee because this is a butterscotch cookie butter coffee, which we haven't had before. And the cookie together, because they're sort of like the same flavor profile. Give it a little, little stir. And it has a cool Gideon's uh, Pride coffee sleeve. It says, Gideon's Bakehouse, we are just one big creepy family. And better yet, it also matches my shirt. It has the little winged Gideon's logo, and I have the gargoyle. This shirt's like two years old now, I think. I have worn it a lot, but this was the perfect time to wear it. Okay, let's try it. Oh, that's really good. I thought it was gonna be overly sweet, but it's like just as sweet as the other Gideon's coffees. Let's taste it together. Mm. Mm hmm perfect pairing, obviously. You wanna try? Yeah, you're gonna like that. It's not cinnamony though. It does taste like cookie butter or like the Biscoff. He could not find his mouth, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, he really likes that. Nothing will ever top peanut butter cold brew for me, but this one is really good. I would definitely get this again. And the cookie is growing on me, but I know he's gonna wanna eat it, so I'm not really gonna get that much of it. One thing I would say about the cookie though, because it has Biscoff crumbs on the top, it's very crumbly, so I'm afraid I have crumbs all over my sweaty face. So the character this month is Butterscotch, and she's like a quiet girl, but then when she wears her wolf pajamas, she howls at the moon and has a little bit like more spirited meanness. This month, Gideon's is gonna be donating proceeds from their art prints and also some other merch to Seacrest Wolf Preserve which is a place where you can go and see wolves in Florida. They also have other small animals like foxes and skunks that you can like meet. It's really cool that they do that and bring awareness for the wolves. And it makes us like get to see butterscotch again. We also got a butterscotch shirt for the boyfriend, but it's this print, it's just on a t-shirt and we had to get it because it's navy blue instead of black. And also he loves his Gideon shirts. Hey, sweaty, Brittany. We also got a pride cake slice, and this is on the menu every Friday, but in June it's on the menu on Sundays and Fridays for Pride Month. 
Uh, we've never had it before, so I'm excited, but it is a lot of frosting, a lot of rainbow, um, which I love rainbows, but I'm afraid of eating them sometimes, so I don't even know where to begin. This is like when you make a birthday cake out of the Funfetti box mix, and then you use like that Funfetti frosting that comes with it. It's like that, but like elevated a lot higher than that, but that's the flavor profile. The cake's very soft and crumbly. It is a Funfetti cake, so vanilla is like the predominant flavor. The frosting tastes also like vanilla, but sugary and is all different colors. There's also like these little crunchy, rainbow crunchy pieces in here. It looks like little cookie crumbles maybe. And that adds sort of just like a little bit of texture in there, which is nice because otherwise it's very soft. Um, I do like the peanut butter and chocolate cakes better, but that's just me. Like that's the cake that I would pick if I had to pick a cake to have. If you like vanilla cake or like birthday cake as a flavor, this is the cake for you. It's so bright and beautiful to look at and great for pride. Look at how pretty. I neglected to mention that they still have the halfway to Halloween bags. So this is Barnabas Mustafalil. Mustafalil, I think that's his name. He's got a long last name. His name is Barnabas. And he's the Halloween icon, halfway to Halloween icon. And uh, they still have the bag, so it's cute. He's on both sides. He's holding a bag of himself, look at that. It's like Inception. I am him and I'm holding a bag of him and he's holding a bag of him also. And then this one's holding a bag of him too. So before we move on from Gideon's, I did want to talk about um, last month there was sort of like a controversy between a former employee, I believe, and Gideon's over uh, their pay and working conditions. And as far as I understand it, things are resolved between them. Either they're talking about joining a union or they're talking about the wages and they're going to work things out. I have worked as a server and a bartender. I've worked in a cookie bakery that's really similar to Gideon's. I think there are a lot of businesses that take the tipped minimum wage that should be paying full minimum wage. I don't think bakeries, coffee shops, or any place where like it's not really traditional to tip should be taking a tipped minimum wage because it's like an overall cultural issue where you're expected to tip everywhere and then people get tip fatigue and they don't want to tip servers and bartenders who live off that. In the short term, hopefully like the employees and Gideons are working out their wages or they're happy with the way that it is, they make enough tips and they're comfortable with it, that's fine too, we don't really know. I don't think boycotting is the answer. It really only hurts the frontline employees who rely on the tips to live and when you go, please do make sure that you tip. I know that it's annoying to have to tip everywhere you go, but until the systems are changed, that's the only way that we can help those people who really need the money to live. And hopefully over time, this sort of cultural shift moves and tips are not like the way that employees are living. And uh, now speaking of capitalism, let's go look at some merchandise. So cute. I wish they had anxiety. That's my favorite, obviously. Uh, but she's everyone's favorite, so she's gone. Why? 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 It's a kid's bucket hat, though, I think. It's so small. $24.99, yeah. Look, the front says. Why? 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 How cute is this Donald sweatshirt? Oh my god. It's 60. And um, it's Donald's 90th birthday next week. Donald 90. And then on the back, a little butt. <laughs> so these are the pride ears for the year. And they have a removable bow, which is pretty cool. It says love in a bunch of different languages. And it's the same on the other side. It has little Mickey. And there's also a lounge fly that matches these. Let's see, what do we got? Here it is. It's the same print. And uh, it's so cute. It has these rainbow straps, which I think is like the highlight, really. It looks like you have rainbow suspenders on, but they're the straps. Really cute. They also have this cool baseball jersey. It says WW and rainbow. And then the back has the castle, Walt Disney World. I think this style of shirt is very in. I also like this little the flag and the rainbow cuffs. It's really cute. How cute is Pride Stitch? 
at his little outfit. I love his like, these sunglasses. Looks like he's gonna go play bingo or something. I don't know. Look at his cute outfit. <laughs> of course, they have a spirit jersey. Has a little rainbow Mickey, which is so cute. And then on the back says Walt Disney World. And then it says love with a rainbow. There's a little too much going on, but I like that it's sparkly. That's amazing. And I love Rainbow Mickey, he's so cute. This is so cute too. It says Pride, it has Mickey in some rainbow shorts. And I love the rainbow handle, that's really great. Walt Disney World on this side. And then inside, there's a castle. This is like a big mug, like you could eat cereal out of this. You could have like a wide cup of coffee. <laughs> wide coffee, I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's really cute. And I love the rainbow handle. Everglazed donut. Of course, they have more like wild and crazy flavors, but I wanted to get the pride one. It's like a very good glazed donut, sugary frosting, sprinkles, sour belt. It's really good. The donut is a very good quality, so we'll definitely be coming back. I want to try some of the other donuts. They have crazy flavors, so I really want to check them out. So price-wise, this one was $6.50, but that's the highest range that they are. Some of the more basic ones are like $5.95, and then it just goes up from there depending on how many toppings and things are on top of the donut. They sell a bunch of other cool stuff. They have like burgers that have donut buns. They have maybe like a waffle sandwich. I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna have to come back and check out more of the flavors they have because this donut was really good. So anything they put on top of that is gonna be great. We got our cookie. I see the line for the drone show and it looks long. Oh. Anyway, here's a cookie. We've got one last pride treat. Now this is always at Summer House on the Lake, but it is the Pinky Cookie. It's a cookie they're kind of known for, and we've been wanting to try it for a while. And it has rainbow sprinkles, so I decided it's a pride treat. So let's taste it. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Huh? So it's a sugar cookie, and then it has, I think the frosting is like pink lemonade flavor, maybe? It has like a tartness to it. That's a really good cookie. Um, I can see why they're most known for this. You can see it's a sugar cookie, but it's a really good sugar cookie. It doesn't have that sliminess that sometimes you get with sugar cookies if they don't use like high quality ingredients. So yeah, I'm really impressed by this. It's really good. One more bite. I've had just about as much Funfetti rainbow sprinkle sugar that I can handle for this fun pride cookie adventure. We're gonna go over to watch the Disney Dreams That Soar drone show. Not droid show, which is what I keep saying, drone show. And uh, I've seen clips of it online, but we haven't got to watch it yet, so I'm really excited to see it. The Disney Dreams That Soar drone show was so fun. It was all characters that fly, and the music at the end was so good. Um, I thought they looked really great. It was surprising because actually Grogu got like the biggest reaction of all the drones. It's always interesting to see like which character people are really into in that area. Um, I would say tonight, like the first showing, they closed off the area maybe like 30 minutes before the show started. And we got there like an hour beforehand. Um, a lot of people were like trying to push to get to the front. And so we we're kind of like crushed in, but I think that it actually would have been better if we had been further back, like we could have seen it better. I would say if you're coming, I don't think you really need to like be right up against the edge. Like it's up in the sky. You're gonna be able to see it from wherever. It's probably more important to be in the middle than to the sides. The other thing I wanted to say is that I feel like this would be a great thing to have at Animal Kingdom in the Rivers of Light Theater where Kite Tales was. It would be great to have like a nighttime thing there, have the park be open later, and have this cool drone show that you could see in the parks. So hopefully that testing so that it will go over there. And uh, we had a great time on our cookie adventure. We got to see some drones, and I hope you had a great time with us. We'll see you on the next one.